On the same day a federal judge ruled Texas cannot use local police to arrest migrants suspected of crossing the border illegally, Trump said that tactic would be part of his immigration policy as president to expedite his plan for a mass deportation operation. And we're going to give immunity to police and we're going to let the police do the job that they have to do. I think it's very important. It's going to be the local police are going to turn them over and we're going to have to move them back to their country. When An attempt by Texas to implement a very similar policy was just struck down by a federal judge. The Texas law would have given local police the right to act as immigration enforcement officers for the state. Local authorities and judges would have had the right to deport migrants in Texas illegally. Something the Biden administration argued was unconstitutional, and the judge agreed. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said Texas has the right to defend itself, vowed to appeal, and believes the case will ultimately end up before the Supreme Court. While Texas was told it doesn't have the authority to ask local police to intervene, Trump says that's exactly what he would do if elected in November. He says utilizing local police is a key detail in conducting the largest deportation effort the U.S. has ever seen, which is arguably his largest campaign promise to date. The glimpse into Trump's proposed immigration policy comes as a new Gallup poll suggests Americans now consider immigration to be the most important issue in the country, ranking above government, the economy, and inflation.